Hi everybody, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. So today's video is about card making, a very summery, beachy theme, and I think it's gonna be the quickest card I've ever made. So, and it's really, really simple. So what you will need for this, of course, is a card base, and I'm gonna choose another color. You will need another paper to put on top, one layer sheet is gonna be enough. And for what I have used here, and I'm gonna show you from close, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, so these are very dimensional um, plastic, and I will tell you what they are in just a second. It's very dimensional. There's more dimension here. And it's so easy and quick and cheap to do. And actually they were made with these shakers. You know, they're cocktail shakers. And I found these in my local, it's not even a craft store, it's just a, you know, like a dollar store. It's the equivalent. And I found these and they're great and they're even kind of embossed. So there is a very nice um, 3D effect. So I have found these and also I have found these. They come in a pack of 12. It's about under $2, maybe even a dollar or so. So I'm sure you can find this kind of, you know, cocktail shakers anywhere where you live. And when I saw them, I thought, oh, I love the colors. They're bright, they're summery, they're beachy, and I'm gonna make a card. I didn't know exactly what kind of card, but I knew I was gonna do something. So for you guys, I've already made a green and a yellow card. I'm gonna make a very bright pink card. So I've already chosen my paper that I'm gonna put on top. Choose any kind. I would go for something light because if you use these kind of shakers, they're kind of transparent. So if you use another color, they tend to, the color is gonna change. You see that, for example, this one here, it's not as bright, it looks green. So I'm gonna use this yellow again and double-sided tape. One more here. I'm usually quite generous with my tape because I want my card to, you know, stay together and not fall apart. I'm gonna try and center this here. It's just a regular A2 size card. And now, I thought I was gonna to have to use my heavy uh, duty scissors for this, but actually you don't. You just snap them here, like this. Same one for here. So maybe you're gonna see, this one has very long legs, and they, they stop here. So you can use more if you want. I think this length is enough. And again, I'm just gonna snap them. So easy. All right, I'm gonna put it this way. You can also put it this way. The pineapple is on, only embossed on one side, but the flamingo is embossed on both sides. So you can use either sides. I'm really gonna go for this direction. And I've prepared a Celebrate banner. You can use, of course, any banner for this. And a dimensional on the back. I'm gonna put right now, there you go. I think I'm gonna put it over here. Yeah, and to glue this, you can use hot glue, but I've tried to use double-sided tape and it works like wonders because I was scared that if I was gonna use my hot glue, I could see it, it was gonna make a big splash on the back, it was not nice, but it works just really well with, you know, your regular double-sided tape and you don't see it. I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna do the same thing. It's maybe a little harder to stick here because it's embossed, but it works also pretty well. A Little bit on the face, a little bit here, and more on the legs there. There you go. I'm gonna stick this one there. And I've used another pink, something uh, quite bright. It's maybe not as bright as I wanted, but it's okay. And I'm gonna use also this punch that I've cut out. <coughs> oh, please excuse me. I'm gonna make a little hole in there. So this card can be for, I think, a man or a woman, because imagine somebody that is retiring. You can offer this saying, hey, you wanna go for a trip? Or anybody. It's not only for girls, I don't think so. I'm gonna put this one around here and I'm gonna make a knot 
very simple one. Just gonna see where exactly I want to tie. I want this to have some wiggle room to move a little bit. I think it's okay there. And I'm gonna make another one. Okay, and cut the excess off. And there you go. Your card is done. So you see how easy was that? And I think it's brilliant because it's shiny. It's really an invitation for traveling, for cocktails. This could be a great idea for a cocktail or um, a dinner invitation as a card. You can change this not only as a card like this, but a simple invitation card. Look at that. Just with few uh, cocktail shakers. Nothing fancy, nothing expensive. I try to find ideas that are simple and not expensive and affordable, available for everybody wherever you live. So please, I hope you like this video. Really simple and I love it. And I don't think it's only for summer. You can offer this the whole year long. So please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. If you want to leave me any comments, please do so. And also don't forget to share on social medias. Thank you so much for being here. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.